Hello, home athletes. Happy Wednesday. Hope you are well. Uh, workout for you today, we have some interval work. We're doing three five-minute AMRAPs with a very generous five-minute rest in between each one. So you have some time to kind of rest and recover and maintain the intensity that we're looking for inside each AMRAP, right? Because each one's only a five-minute window. So we're looking to kind of go, 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 work really hard for five minutes, then rest. Work really hard for five minutes, rest, and then work really hard for our third and final five minutes. Um, different, whoop, job for that. Different stuff today. So we have some running involved. First off, I hope you have your running distances measured out. If you haven't, do this prior to the workout. You need a 600, a 400, and a 200 meter uh, run measured out. Um, I suppose this could very easily be just measure the 200 and do like three, do one, you do that. Whatever works for you. You need 600, 400, 200. And ideally, those take uh, three minutes, two minutes, and one minute respectively. So let's go through the AMRAPs. First uh, five minute AMRAP starts with a 600 meter run. Like I said, three minutes or less, hopefully. Uh, then you come back inside and you do one round of Cindy. So Cindy's kind of our gymnastics portion of the workout today. And for you folks at home, I'm gonna have this be five push-ups, 10 bent over rows, and 15 air squats, that's one round. Um, so push-ups, of course, if you need to, find yourself an elevated surface, uh, put your hands on a you know coffee table or couch or a chair or whatever. Um, if you can do uh, push-ups on the floor, awesome. I mean, you only have to do five at a time, so you give yourself, you know, try to do them on the floor. Um, we're looking for straight legs and knees. We're looking for a relatively vertical forearm here, so hands are in line with the chest. We're going all the way down to the bottom. We're going all the way back up to the top. You can also do knee push-ups, right? You can kind of drop to the knees and do that, or elevated hands. But you know, try to do them for real. There's only five. Um, and then bench over rows. So hopefully you have your dumbbells there. Bench over rows, you have your two bells. Slight bend to the knees. Send those steps back to that back nice and flat, and we're going to pull those elbows up into the chest. I know you've done ring rows at the gym before. This is much like that, right? We're pulling those elbows up nice and high, working those muscles in the mid and upper back. So 10 rows. And then, of course, everybody's favorite, good old 15 air squats. Let's make sure to get the hips and knees fully extended at the top. And we're looking to break parallel down at the bottom. 15 reps on that. 5, 10, 15 is one round of Cindy. And then, here's the fun part. Our weightlifting portion. For you at home, I have some variations on squat cleans. So the first AMRAP, like I said, we've got a 600 meter run, one round of Cindy. Then we're gonna do as many single alternating hang squat cleans as we can in the time it remains. You'll probably have, let's shoot maybe a minute or so, so you gotta be pretty quick about this. But we'll have one dumbbell for this first AMRAP. We're going to be taking that dumbbell from right about knee level, right? So we're kind of sending those hips back. So we're ready to jump up. We're going to catch it on the shoulder and squat down. We're going to switch hands every time. So from the knees, jump, shrug, squat. Hang squat cleans. That one's not so bad because you're only using one dumbbell. Second am rep starts with a 400 meter run. That should take about two minutes or less. Then you come back inside and you do two rounds of Cindy, just like I demonstrated, 5, 10, 15, but now you're doing it twice. Um, so hopefully this, you know, we got about two minutes for the run, maybe hopefully a little less than two uh, minutes for the Cindy. And again, we should have a minute, minute and a half for our squat cleans. In your second hand round, we're doing double dumbbell hanging squat cleans. Now you have both your dumbbells. And these are exactly like I demonstrated before, but now you have two dumbbells, Right about knee level, jump shrug, catch it in a squat. Hang and squat, all right? A little bit heavier this time, two dumbbells. And then after our last rest, we have our third and final lamb wrap. Starts with a quick 200 meter run, should take a minute or less. Then we come back inside, do three rounds of Cindy, five, 10, 15, we have three rounds. And then we finish up with some dumbbell squat cleans from the floor, right? So we have our two dumbbells again, and now rather than from the knees, we're actually going all the way down to the floor, tapping that top part of the bell just outside the feet, standing on the lip, squat, and catch. 
So that one's our heaviest and our biggest range of motion movement for our weightlifting portion. Um, your score today, if you're gonna extract that, is how many reps you get of the squat cleans in each AMRAP. So you should have, like I said, have about a minute, minute and a half or so to work on that. Record how many reps you get in each AMRAP, add them all together, that'll be your final score. All right? Um, yes, that's about it. Um, do you ever have any questions? Again, feel free to text me, email me uh, about these videos, or if you're wondering about a certain movement or what weight you uh, can use or don't use. Hopefully you have a pair of dumbbells at home. If you don't, that's the one thing that I would require of the programming that I'm, I'm designing or that we're designing uh, for you to use at home is a pair of dumbbells, kind of medium weight uh, for anybody. Try Kilo Flex in Oregon City if you haven't tried them already. Um, I think they have some in stock and you actually can go pick them up there once a week. They have a, an open, uh, a storefront that's open. I think it's Thursdays, but double check on that. Um, so yeah, fair dumbbells. There you go. Getting a workout in, folks. I'll talk to you tomorrow.